Oh, we do not deserve cats. Oh my goodness. Hi, everybody. My name is Dr. Rebecca Lise, and this is Flynn. Flynn. See, they can't hear me. And this is my YouTube channel, UX Specs, where we talk about everything user experience, instructional design, and data science. All right, today we are going over to do list part three out of five. I can't handle this. Before we do that, though, I wanted to talk about our next giveaway. We still have the first giveaway going on. I'm going to have that go on until the last week of January, um, and I'll do the announcement in my part five. I also have a new giveaway with additional stickers, some flags, some more flags. Some more flower flags. This is so hard with a cat in my hands. Some more post-it note. A list pad with lines on it. Another list pad with some categories on it. And a set of pink and purple filing, metallic filing folders. And then a basket along with it. All right, guys, that is giveaway number two, and I will be announcing both of the winners for giveaway number one and giveaway number two in my part five of the to-do series. Oh, okay, Flynn's done now. <laughs> All right, guys, so today we're going to be talking about where you should put your to-do list. Um, this is something that is very important because Location is key. First place I typically put my to-do lists are my planner. Yay! This is a planner I actually got off of Amazon for only $4. Super excited about this one. I also put my updated plans for the entire month on a chalkboard next to my desk so that I can be aware of what's coming up in the next couple weeks. I also use notebooks for my brain dumps. I just organize it into different categories and then I can prioritize it based off of what I have on my chalkboard. And then I use the planner to plan for the week. And then I use post-it notes to course correct. I love post-it notes. I'm gonna make it rain. Supposed to be very flexible with what I am doing for that day. So being able to cleanly see what's going on versus my scribbled notes is really awesome to me. Um, it helps me focus and then I feel less overwhelmed. Okay, and the last tip that I have for this week is that if I am working in a team, a lot of times I like to use Trello, which is free. I will link it in the description below. I plan to do a couple of tutorials on Trello in the future. If you guys are cool with that, comment below. Let me know what you want to see, the types of projects you want to work on. All right, guys, in order to be entered into the giveaway, please comment below with your favorite tip from today's video. Also, if you guys want extra entries into either the first or the second giveaway, uh, like this video and then subscribe to my channel and you can get extra entries into both the first and the second giveaway. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>